Oh my lord. I, I just don't know what to do. Uh, hold on. Let's see what else is messed up. We're just gonna have to go through every single weapon. We already know, uh, elephant- the cannons are limited. Uh... Yep. Okay, so, cannons are limited at six energy. Uh, the reason why I wanted machine guns was because I wanted to see if those are limited, uh, similarly. Uh, we'll just go with auto cannons, grab some whirlwinds. You have 10 energy. I, I think it's 10 energy. Back to streams. Greetings, Hades. Hades, we're on the test server right now. Testing everything. We've got every gun in the game, dog. How many destructors can we fit? One, two. Can we get to the mythical third destructor? No. No, we can't. We can't get to the mythical third destructor. It looks as though that we're, we're being capped at 10 instead of 12. So for, the, for those of us who do not know, when you make a Leviathan, there is a energy cap to uh within so this is a whole bunch of gun mounts and a whole bunch of structural parts that used to stop the scorpion that blew apart a lot of parts everything goes through pass-through parts believe it or not missiles went through pass-through parts before as well Well, I mean, there is an advantage to this. Armor does matter. Scorpions are now bad. This is the new meta, basically. This is what people are going to want because scorpions can't penetrate this stuff. This is going to be the new meta, effectively. I know that doesn't make any sense. But, so the idea... Dang you... I mean, it doesn't seem much different, but then again, these are bots. Oh, come on, video game Helga, please. Helga's gonna stop right in front of me, isn't she? So if this were live, I would have popped this thing's generator by now, because I'm the best shot on the, in the world. Okay, that was... Okay, hold on a second. No way. No way! Okay, that is cool. So what you just saw, chat, is scorpions will... Pa you can actually hit more than one enemy now. You can have through and through shots. Look at that. You can have through and through shots. You can hit two enemies at once. That's cool. I would have sworn there's a high explosive in there. Nope. Missed it. Um, lead your shots, chat. Okay, that did do damage. Parts flew off. Thank you. Lead your minds, chat. I mean... <laughs> chat. This is where the parts are. This is where parts are, chat. Way back here. Hold on a second. Let's do that again. Just for those of us who didn't catch that. Hold on. We want something that has only like one pier lid on it. Let's try that again. <laughs> Ready? The parts are in the way back. These parts blew up over here. So you're saying I can shoot through allies. So Joshua's the ally we're gonna shoot through. Joshua, please. So I'm gonna shoot at Kristen. No. Doesn't look like you can shoot through allies. Nope. Nope. So I'm gonna call that false. You cannot shoot uh, enemies through allies with the uh, Strayus. The one that missed hit. 
Here we go. There, that's a straight shot through an ally on Sandra. Nothing. Nothing. So Sandra's right there. Nothing. I don't think it's accurate. I don't believe that you can fire through allies with the Scorpion at all. Doesn't appear to be true. Uh, I've yet to be able to reproduce that. I've fired several good shots on in. Doesn't seem to be accurate. Fake noose. It didn't work with the Astraeus. It doesn't appear to work with the Scorpions. Scorp does not appear to penetrate teammates whatsoever. I've tested it. I'm going to keep testing it until I can either A... Come on, hold still, burned. Hmm. That looked good. That didn't look good. That didn't look good. I think that... It, they may have just shot close to their teammate and missed. That looked good. That kind of looked good. I can't tell if those parts on the teammate are broken or not. That's the problem. Didn't hit George through that thin part strike plate. Didn't hit George again through the strip thin strike plate. That one hit, but I don't know if it was due to legs. Hold on, let's reproduce. Hold on. Chat, chat. I think we're seeing something here. I can't tell if it's because the Scorp went around my ally. Alright, let's try with one's wheels. This is probably going to do a lot of damage. Probably going to wipe everything out. Yep. How about a tow missile? Get out of here. Get out of here, Rusted Hilt! The clarinet toe will surprisingly be one of the big losers of this patch, as it is still dog shit. I don't even have the thing bound. Hold on a second. Let's go with something else. Here we go. Here we go. Still sucks. Can confirm. <laughs> we did it, chat. We confirm the clarinet toe doesn't belong in crossout. Now, I know that what everyone's thinking is, wait, didn't we do that last time and every other time? Sure, any of these doesn't matter. So when you say penetrate frame, what are we talking about? Because the yokai could always penetrate frame. Are you talking about the shot will go through these parts, hit the ground, and explode in the background? Oh, look at that chat. Wait a minute, you're saying it will penetrate frame and explode on the ground? Hilarious. It does go directly through all of these things and explode in the distance, which is quite funny. Oh, damage passed through. What have they done to you, my boy? <laughs> what have they... My boy! My beautiful boy! What have they done to you? So that's the problem. Like, interestingly enough, executioners are fun, but the problem is executioners, even now, are bad at shooting through wheels. Wheels have always been the bane of the executioner, because the damage is just ass on these. And the penetration isn't enough. Uh... So, because the Executioner's base damage is booty... You... Do, like, look at that. That's three Executioners. That cannot be accurate. That can't be accurate. What? 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 Hold on a second, chat. Something's not right. Neither of those shots can be accurate. Excuse me? I have fired three shots at these executioners three times and gotten three different numbers. What the hell's happening here? All these guns work, right? Okay, they all fired. 144. Okay, here we go again, chat. Here we go. 173? The fudge is going on here. Two 
209. This should be... Zero? Zero? <laughs> Zero, Chad? <laughs> Wait, one of those shots hit the hit the background. I saw it. I saw it hit the hit the mountain behind this. Are these shots penetrating the balls? Hold on a second. Hold on a second, chat. This is gonna be interesting. Oh! You guys see that, don't you? You see the explosions in the background. Don't look at the damage ball. Look in the background. You see that? I know you see that, chat. I know why this is doing more damage. You ready, chat? Because the shots are going through here, penetrating this, and exploding on this uh, on that on that part right there. The reason why we're consistently getting 144 over here is because the shots are going through and they're exploding off somewhere in the distance. 144 is the damage that one executioner's bullet does. The bullet damage from this shot is 144 cuz divide that by 3. 48. So the bullet damage is 48. The blast damage is whatever it's getting added on. Okay, so the damage balls... <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am, Fleem. Damage balls are considered pass-through parts, and shots go through them. Wait a minute, that means... That means I should be able to hit both. From here. I am! <laughs> Chat! <laughs> Look! 144, 230. <laughs> Wait, is this all cannons or is this just these guys? Hold on. Let's find out if this is an executioner perk or if this is due to some other crazy stuff. Uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Typhoon. What? This one. Perfect. Good. Let's, t let's test it. Wait, Purry went on a field trip as well? Then it devolved into whose brother has been to the most field trips. Alright, chat. It's just the Executioner, chat. So, weapons with penetration... ...super penetrate. So, clearly... ...this should also be on the Prosecutor as well. And now you're cut up with a little girl gossip. See you later, pal. All right. I'm going to assume the prosecutors are going to do the exact same thing. Yep. Right on through. <laughs> little bit higher. There you go. I will be very, it will be very interesting to find out if the Astraeus has penetrative properties. When does this go live? I don't think it's going to go live in its current state. Nope. But I will test again at the very tip. Nope. Astraeus does not penetrate anything. Uh, what else? The Scorpion should work, clearly. Yep, there it is. 266, 133. Wait a minute, chat! We can find out! Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second! This is great! This is great news! Great news! Uh, da, 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 da. We need the uh, thing, we need the thing. Storage, we need uh, buildings. We need uh, anything, anything, anything. Perfect. Bam. Hold on a second. I don't even know. None of it matters, chat. None of it even matters. Get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Actually, no, you come back. You come back. There we go. You need that. Get rid of you. Get rid of you, 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 you. Click, click, click. I wish there was a clear all button.
Some galaxy brain shit is going to happen right now. Big brains, chat. Big effing brain balls. We now can figure out the penetrative effects of the scorpion because we can find out how much it does after passing through each ball. There's a delete button. 266, 133, zero. What? Try this again, chat. Maybe there's a maximum number of separate things it can pass through. Hmm. Literally, anything that says penetrates X seems to go. Like, all the way through those damage balls, which is hilarious to me. But nothing else seems to have any true penetrative effects. As for the Mastodon, uh, rusted. Like, everyone wants to talk about the Mastodon's penetrative effects. Fine. It doesn't really have it. It only does 40 bullet damage which is doubled to 80 bullet damage with, if uh, you're hitting heated parts. So that would mean that it would pass through uh, and move the explosion closer, hitting anything this and weaker. A large thorn or weaker. So if you're hitting any of this stuff, then it actually has a chance of penetrating, assuming that it's already been heated. These balls aren't pass-through parts. That is correct. They aren't pass-through parts, Dilduck. They're considered to be... They're just like enemies. Which is interesting. Hold on a second. So, that was the thing I wanted to test. Thank you, Dilduck. Thank you. My man. My man. We want a singular Smexecutioner for this build. There's a single Smexecutioner. So we know that this will pass through, fly through, and hit two of them. It'll do bullet damage to the first one, which is 48, and it'll do blast damage to the second one, which is 115. Which means that this should be 48 plus 115 in damage, if I fire at that. Nope, just 115. Because it's penetrating and exploding on the other side. Oh god, this executioner, why? Oh Jesus. You're killing me. I know, heat bullet splash effect. Ugh, uh, not even gonna bother with that, whatever. So executioners only do one. Fi Why is this thing not even losing any parts behind the cabin? Oh, chat, chat. Cabin stop the executioner now, as well. Watch this. Hold my beer. This should shoot through that part and hit both. And it didn't destroy this back plate. Do you see what I'm talking about with the Executioner? The Executioner is in such a weird spot. Look at this. This black back plate, that van back, stopped the Executioner shot. And by stopped, I mean it took it, let it pass through, and hit your ally. <laughs> These damage mechanics are getting real worried up in here, chat. Ready? What even happened? Look at, the, look at the car, chat. The car looks like it didn't take anything. <laughs> oh my god. But it's stupid. The executioner is now crazy unreliable. <laughs> I know exactly what happened. It, like, it passes through. It's passing through just like it's passing through those damage balls. So it's like, okay, I've done 48 whole points of damage to that one part, and the explosion shall happen further in. However, right here, it should hit everything. And it blew that back, like, part right off. Why? Well, we know why. Because it's passing through the exterior, hitting the second part, and detonating. Like, it is literally passing through the opening hole here, and detonating inside the build, doing massive damage, Etc. But if you do it the other way around, <laughs> it shoots a door off and looks kind of cute. 46 passed right on through, hit the ground way over there. You saw it. Just right a through on through. Look at this hole. We can punch holes through this build now and not have any explosive effect. They warned about this in the patch notes. This is one of the things they said in the patch notes. They said you will be able to shoot through enemies 
And it will, it, like, this is like, um... World of Tanks, kind of. Look at that. I made a hole in the ground right there. You can see the hole in the ground right here. Because it shot clean through. Executioners, yo. You can just shoot right on through these parts. Hold on a second. Let's test something. Um, no, I understand why this is here now. Like, the execution... I understand why... Someone's putting a little DOA effect on the Executioner. This. The Rest in Peace Executioner. Is this passing through any part, or can any part stop this? Let's find out, chat. We're finding out together. Nope! <laughs> 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 Nothing can stop it. This isn't two pins of penetration, chat. This is not as advertised. This is not two pins of penetration. This claims... Oh my god, hold on. Read it! Fires armor, piercing projectiles that explode after piercing two pins of armored car structure. Wait a minute! I figured it out! I figured out what that means! It means that it has to go through two pins of armored car structure before it detonates. It doesn't mean that it's going two pins from point of impact. It means it's going from two pins from armor. So, if I'm right, if I'm right, I could be wrong. Don't worry, I could be wrong. If I'm right, then this should stop this. If I'm right. So this contains two pins. This should theoretically stop this from passing through. It also needs to be higher up on the ground. Doesn't look like I'm right. It looks like it needs, I don't know. It, there's, the, there's the explosion right over there. Right there is the explosion. Hold on a second, chat. I think this isn't doing two pins. I think it's saying two, it's, it's thinking two parts. I need a thing, chat. I need a thing. Uh, this is a thing. There we go. That's a thing. We're going to set this the long way. And we're going to try and fire this executioner through the long way of this build. Alright. Right on through! <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, that looks cool as fuck. Let's be clear. I think that just looks cool. Like, if you look at this from the side, and you see that sl Whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Do you guys see that? I would have absolutely sworn I saw that hit a third part. Hold on. We're gonna try an even steeper angle, one that's real steep. Okay. Looks like- it looked for a moment like- No, it is! So what we're going to try and do now is, behind this are four individual little uh, stoppy parts, and we're going to try and hit those stoppy parts when aiming at the distance. Didn't give a shit. Hold on a second. 
This is interesting. Let's try to stop the executioner with non-tiny parts. Let's increase the parts. Let's go with Miniman sideboards, chat. That's a fair number of minivan sideboards, right? So, in theory... What, what, what's your theory now, Fuyum? You piece of shit. Ah, uh, I know how it works. You don't know how it works. It finally stopped it after how many minivan sideboards? Three. Three minivan sideboards. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try something, chat. What if there weren't three minivan sideboards here? What if this happens? What if the last sideboard isn't there? This shit is bugged as fuck. B-A-F, chat. So his theory is that it ignores the first two pins, then has to get rid of its bullet damage, then explodes. Interesting. So three still stops. Interesting. Let's go with two. So if two doesn't stop it, there might be a mysterious point where the person is just under armored enough that you can hit more than one person for full damage on both. And there is. There is a... What? There's a... What? <laughs> so, if Fuyum's theory is right, we could actually do something very interesting. Hold on. If it's ignoring the first two air quotes pens, this, the Executioner, should do the exact same thing here. It should do exactly the same. If the air quotes first two pins are ignored first. It should pass through all the way, all of those parts, and hit that poor son of a bitch in the background. It didn't. It did nothing. In fact, the damage is somewhere soaked up in that pile of mess. So, chat, this is bugged as fuck. This is inconsistent. If it were ignoring the first air quotes two pins, then it would ignore this pin and this pin and plow through those and then dump its bullet damage elsewhere. It's not doing that. Instead, it's hitting this, doing some dumb fucking calculation, and double APC roof parts now stops an executioner dead in its tracks. The Executioner shot comes in, gets absorbed, can't figure out what to do, blast damage doesn't go through, minivan sideboards are okay. However, you remove one of these APC parts, it's gonna fling right on through. You got it, Puyam. We're gonna do something slightly different. We're gonna use a flat angle. We're not gonna aim for the part in the back. We're gonna try and see if a flat angle changes it. A flat angle does change it! A flat angle changes it! I knew it! Okay, chat. So one of the things that most people don't know is everything is done by meters, not pins. Even if it is a pin in distance, it doesn't matter. I was firing at a slight angle. A very slight angle matters because at this very slight angle, you may be right, Fuyum, at this very slight angle, it's traveling more than two pins. So because I'm firing at a very, very, very slight angle, it's actually going to hit... It's gonna... The, the second pin is going to be within the build itself. Or not. Or not. We have to hold on, chat. We're gonna we're gonna level this out. Give me a second. We're gonna push this build with our car. Even it out, fire through. Give me one second. One second, chat. Let's see what we have. That's actually almost perfect. That works. Let's do this. So, this should, because this is basically flat, we're going to aim a little bit more to the right so we don't miss. There we go. This is basically flat, should hit all three, does hit all three, 
passes through the first two pins of distance, then it starts dumping its bullet damage and whatever is behind. If that is not enough to absorb the blast, in this case two of those van panels is not, it continues on until it does, hits whatever it does, and then explodes for damage. One second, chat. We're going to try something. I want to see if what it hits on the other side takes full damage, which is to say as though it was like the first thing hit. Um, so in order to do that, we want this rotated like this. And then I want to test drive this. So now the front of that vehicle is facing us. We still have to re-rotate this. A little bit. That should do it. So, our prediction is not really relevant. I just want to find out how much damage that thing is taking. Fuyum, how much damage do you think this is going to take? The, sh the Not the thing in the front, the thing in the back. One fifteen. Eighty nine. So it took eighty nine. It took one fifteen on the, on subsequent shots. So one fifteen minus uh, eighty nine. Eighty eight. Eighty eight is twenty six. Twenty six is equal to these things, isn't it? It is. No, it's not. No, it is. It's equal to one of them. Weird. I would thought it would be equal to both of those combined, but it isn't. It's not minus both. It's 115 minus one of them. 115 minus one set of 26. That's weird. Why is it not minus two sets of 26? That is actually weird. That should be less than 89, because it should be minus two sets of 26 off of that. Am I not destroying that part? A full 115, probably, and it did hit that. Weird. This is some, oh my goodness. This is the best way to put this is inconsistent, chat. We've got a lot of inconsistencies happening in Crossout with this patch. Executioners are going to be in a bad way. Hold on a second. We're going to do the exact same thing. But we're going to space it. This is what I'm talking about with inconsistent. This doesn't make sense now. We're just going to try and get a shot through. I don't care if it hits something on the other side. We're just firing through. The shot didn't go through. So if everything is clustered really, 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 really close, then the shot, then the executioner can go through. But if there's spacings, this, it doesn't go through at all. This is what I was talking to. Uh, ah, it doesn't really matter. Wait, the felt. The thing on the other side died first. Oh god, executioner. Yo, it's in a. It's in a weird. It's in a weird spot. Okay. Uh, that's not just crossbow. That's all thing. All impulse. Does this now? Ah, sideways. So originally, if you were to fire at, let's say, this front part with these toadfish, the impulse would be where on impact, where the, on the structural part. But now, the impulse happens at the very end of the line. But this is also true for reapers, this is true for everything. So this is shooting that. There doesn't appear to be any impulse being tr uh, transferred to the vehicle. And as you can see, it transfers impulse to the vehicle when you hit something physical. So you basically just shoot right on through those like they're not even there. You hit something and it passes the, the impulse. Oh, 
Oh, actually, we should test the Aurora. Hold on a second, chat. We absolutely need to test the Aurora. So, originally, a very long time ago, the Aurora had a bug because pass-through parts stopped the energy damage from the Aurora entirely. Straight up was a solid wall. And this was due to the fact that it heated the first part that it shot. Well, now damage passes through. Aurora is that heavy? Holy shit. Uh, now, with damage mechanics being freaking crazy, let's find out what happens. We're going to save this over here. going to assemble this. Give it a test drive. So what do we predict is going to happen? Is it going to heat all the parts? Is it going to heat none of the parts? Interesting. Interesting, chat. So, the bug is back. So remember when I said that originally, like these parts, when dealing with pass through uh, energy damage, when it uh, dealt with pass through parts, ceased to pass through. It's back to going to not passing through. By the way, in case you're wondering, on the live server, the Aurora does pass through, 100%. It does not it obey. It does obey the seven pin rule on on live servers, meaning, if you shoot something with the Aurora, it will pass through. It'll heat up the part, the first part, but it'll pass through to the other one. Good question. Now Fuyum's asking the rural questions. I'm pretty sure the damage is going to pass through on this, but we'll see. Let's grab some trigs. Time for some trigonometry chat. Let's see if... Dang it. Let's see... What happens. Uh, I'm pretty sure this damage is going to pass through. I'm pretty sure of it. I think it's only going to heat the first part, but pass through to the remainder. Nope! Stops it! Alright, well, then the triggers and destructors are no longer able to do... Uh, no longer able to pass their damage through. This will probably be fixed before it goes live. That's probably going to happen. Because they've had this problem before. This problem did exist before. It is currently fixed on live. It's just being reintroduced... You think the Destructor does pass through? I don't know. Let's find out. Busted. Does not pass through, chat. They are solid walls to these energy weapons. Which means it's solid walls to Gravistars. How will Imp get better from this patch? The Imp will pass through all parts that pass through. So that's how the imp will be better. Meaning you'll be able to directly shred. Don't worry about it, Fuyum. This It's not going to matter. Gravistar will also suffer from these same penalties. Don't worry, I will test it. Uh, symbol U, blah, 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 blah. Grab a star. Grab a star. Uh, you do get through pass through on live servers. On live servers, I guarantee it. I already know it does. I have tested it. We are going to overwrite. On test server, probably not because they've reintroduced a bunch of a bunch of bugs. Dang it! The graphic star is not low enough. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Do 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 do. Nope. No damage gets through. So Gravistars, any energy weapon apparently that provides heat. Does it wait a minute? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's just find out. We're here. Why not? Let's be adults. We ain't got nothing but time. Let's go with the synthesis. Yes, give me the damn synthesis. God dang you, video game.
I'm pretty sure this should pass through. Because it doesn't have an... Yeah, this passes right on through. No problems. Look at that. Just ghosting it. Not even an issue. Alright, I had a feeling it would pass through. So anything that has an on-hit effect, it seems to have a problem with pass-through. So Gravistars have an on-hit effect, which is to say that they hit the pass-through part, they need to heat that pass-through part, yada yada yada, jerk 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 jerk. It looks as though those are acting as solid walls. I don't believe that's going to be a problem by the time this makes it back to live. This problem has existed in Crossout before. It just is back. It's, it's a problem that existed before. It's just back. Nothing big. They'll fix it. They'll fix it, chat. Don't worry. He says, hopefully. It was all of them. The Destructor didn't exist at the time, though. So the Destructor did not exist, so that's the reason why we didn't ever see the Destructor getting stopped by pass parts. They fixed it before that point. Fire weapons, pass or no pass? Great question. Great question. Let's find out. Fire weapons, chat. I'm guessing that they're going to have the same bug. I'm just going to guess that right now. I think they're just going to be stopped like a wall. Uh, passes through without a problem? What? Passes straight through? Question mark? Yeah. No, no. Flame weapons don't have a problem with this shit. They got 99 problems and pass through ain't any of them. We're going to test the other flame weapons while we're here. Like Zadrico. I assumed that they would ha uh, have problems. I really did. Based on the fact that they have a on-hit effect, I assumed that they would have problems. Didn't have any problems. None. No problems found. Error 404. Problem not found. Right on through. Like it ain't no thing. Heats the first part, damages the rest. I'm gonna go with a remedy. I know that this is gonna be exactly the same. It they all follow the same mechanics, but we'll test it anyway because you know, that's what we do here, Chad. Right on through, not even a problem, not even a consideration. There you go. Flame weapons, they pass through pass through parts. It's literally just the energy weapons that aren't passing through, and not all the energy weapons. Energy weapons that heat apparently do not pass through the pass through parts presently. It's a bug, it's existed before, it just got reintroduced. I'm sure it'll be fixed. 